Hello, welcome, Cavachir. So let's do part four of the Elden Ring playthrough. And uh, first of all, I'll show you some of the progress that I made. I uh, played a little bit more earlier today. Uh, I guess we'll go to status. Uh, level 30 here. And then I beat uh, Margit at level 21. I put that in a uh, video. I've been mostly putting it I've been mostly putting it into uh, strength and dexterity so that I can use uh, different weapons. Uh, but I think once I get dexterity to 20, then I'll put everything into arcane so I can raise the uh, the poison damage. And let's look at my equipment. Uh, so I picked up the Guardian's Sword Spear, I think it is. This is pretty good. Uh, let's see. I also uh, killed Patches and I got the Spear plus 7. That's pretty good. Halberd I took to plus 2. The Poison Short Spear, that's still at plus 3. Uh, and then the brass, I think it's the brass shield, plus three. Uh, let's equip that, actually. Okay. Oh, and then some uh, clothing. I got the... Uh, what is it? A guardian set? The body, and the uh, bracers, and the legs. Yeah, kind of looks like Argo-ish. Maybe a bit more casual than usual. No gloves, no uh, feet covering. <laughs> Looks a little bit uh, Mongolian, actually. Hopefully that's not offensive to anyone. But yeah, that kind of like little like mini cape there, that kind of seems Argo-ish. And then I have the uh, sword spear here equipped. It looks like uh, Ornstein spear from Dark Souls 1, so... I want to infuse this with lightning in the future. <laughs> Oops. Uh, what else we got? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. When I get to uh, 20 dexterity, then I can uh, equip the uh, cross, Naginata. But we're not quite there yet, so yeah. I'll show you my uh, talismans. This one will give me HP with a uh, backstab. And this one will remove more stamina when I hit people that are guarding me. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, none of these other ones are new. All right. So what I want to do today is maybe the last little bit that I'll do in uh, Limgrave. I want to do uh, this bottom area. Apparently there's uh, something I can do there. And then I want to do uh, this castle here. Castle height right here. So I guess we'll go here first. And then if I clear those two things within two hours, then we can go to the uh, the southern part, the southern uh, island, peninsula. Alrighty. So let's go south. Oh, it's pointing me there anyway. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's pointing me to uh, this southern area. We'll go there later. Alright, so this confused me in the last live stream. This is a teleporter, I guess. We'll ignore that for now. It would seem... In the very southern part of uh, Limgrave, there is a little jail. So let's have a look at that. I, 
looked at the wiki, it said the most southern most part. So let's look at where that is. No, this is not it. <laughs> We can jump down here. But yeah, I am loving this game. But Margit, I felt, was too hard. <laughs> That's really the, uh, the developers saying, this is what we're all about. Very, very strongly. Too strongly, I think. Who knows how many people they've uh, pushed away because of it. Uh... So that's the peninsula, I guess. We'll go there later, maybe. Uh-oh. But yeah, maybe a year or two ago I made just a personal top 10 video games list of all time. I haven't shared that yet. Uh, but in there I put uh, Dark Souls 3. But since that time I have played Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne. And I uh, said that either of those could uh, take that place very easily. <laughs> but Elden Ring might be the best choice. Because I can tell, even now, this early into the game, that there is so much game, first of all, and then so much replay value. And I've really been wondering, like... I played Near Replicant. That was something that I really wanted to do. I played Bloodborne. That was something I really wanted to do. But beyond that, I wonder if there's anything... that I want to play... besides... I might just be happy to play FromSoft games for the end of time. Until the end of time. <laughs> it's like when you get in a, a certain mood. And uh, all you want to listen to is reggae, for example. <laughs> All reggae songs are kind of similar, but it's also an awesome song. <laughs> Is this the southernmost part? Okay, we're close-ish. I guess we can jump down to that bottom area. Whoa! What's that, undead? Yeah, alright. Hmm, I don't see anything. Let's... I'll check a little bit more. If I can't find it right away, we'll go to uh, Castle Hate instead. Uh, 
Should be around here. Okay, let's go to Castle Height. This will be kind of a siege, I guess. Oh, this might be the guy that uh, I'm looking for, actually. Half man, half wolf. Alrighty. Where are we? Okay. I'm gonna head due east. Uh, this is not gonna work. All right, and then let's equip some um, summons. I don't think we're going to need jellyfish. We want numbers. So, skeletons. And maybe wolves. Okay. <laughs> okay, can't summon them yet, but maybe later. Let's, uh, let's take it slow. Why not? Got some archers, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, maybe while the uh, archers are distracted, we can get in there. Whoa! Oh, is that a big old crossbow there? Like a arbalisk? I don't know if that's what you call it. <laughs> All right, run, 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 run. All right, here's some guys. Hello. Okay. The uh, halberd that I'm using is a little unusual because it's got like slashing attacks. And they're very quick too. So I like it. <laughs> I guess this is the... Whoa! Pumpkin guy. Alright. Let's see... Let's look around first. Let's see if there's a back entrance, maybe? Yeah, with all of the uh, upgrades and additions to my uh, character here, I'm feeling pretty strong. The game has just started, I realize that. <laughs> but yeah, you can really sense the, uh, the progression in these games. And if a game can make leveling feel fun, then I think that's a big win for uh, design. Any ladders or doors? No. We got all the way around. Alright. We'll go in through the front door, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay. These uh, glowing trees, they have the uh, glowing seeds, which I can turn into... Uh, raise my healing, but I already got that one. Oh, pumpkin head guy came down. <laughs> so I guess we don't have to fight him after all. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, save him for later. Alright, what do we got? Is that a big creature? Can't target it. Is it dead? Yeah, yeah. Hide fortress. Fish says big dog. Yeah, maybe. Well, we will not bother it. We'll just <laughs> go over here. Doesn't seem to be breathing. Okay, that's a rat, I think. Can't backstab rats, right? Uh, no spoilers, please. Thank you. I appreciate it, but... I want to be surprised. Alright, we got a guy throwing fireballs. Oh, and I think I changed the, um... The art on here, so it's a stab or something? Yeah. Alright, let's get up here. Ooh! Rat. Okay. Yeah, that thing seems pretty dead. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see, we got some round parts. Oh, fish, don't worry about it. Uh, I guess let's head up top first. There's a guy, but what kind of guy? Eh, he doesn't look that strong. <laughs> oh yeah, just another one of these, all right. Oh, and I talked to um, kind of a noble looking guy who was standing on top of a, uh, a bridge. And he was like, please uh, liberate this fortress. So we're on a mission here. Oh, treasure. Okay. <laughs> I have maybe too many weapons. I got the sword spear, I got the uh, short spear, yeah. I would love to raise the levels of all of these, but yeah. <laughs> we'll see how far I can take them. Alright, we got a knight. Uh, yeah, let's try out my new uh, sword spear. Whoops. Whoa, he's got bleed. Alright. Ow. Ow. 
Ah. <laughs> no, this is not working. Whoa. Break my guard. Oh, break it again. All right, that'll work. Whoa, we got a uh, Ash of War, Blood Strike. Oh, maybe that was the thing he was just using on us. Cool. I don't know how much I'm going to use Bleed, but I am going to uh, use the Arcane, so that might work out. Uh, Fukuro says, good evening. Good evening to you, too. Oh, he dropped something, too. Ah, great sword. All right, knight, great sword, and a shield. All right, cool. Golden Order shield. Is that what that says? All right. Got some roses, blood roses. <laughs> Crafting materials. I'm assuming. All right, let's head in here. I wonder what counts as uh, liberating this place. But yeah, still very early in the game, and yet... I feel the, uh, what do you call it? I feel the potential of it. Decadus something, the left side. Is that a key item, maybe? Let's check the uh, inventory. Uh, let's see, here we are. Okay, I guess it turns on some kind of machine, maybe? All right. Music changed. Those platforms are suspicious, aren't they? <laughs> Let's have a look at those, sorry. So there's one, right? There's another one. But do they lead anywhere? Not really. No? Okay. They're just for a fast descent. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alright, the music changed, so that might mean that this place is liberated. Uh, let's check here. I think I already looked here, actually. Yeah, alright. Uh, Fukuro asks, I have a question about the sales report videos on my channel. Sure. Ask away. Anybody can ask anything. I don't promise I'm going to answer, but feel free to ask. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, you were shooting at me earlier. Take this. Oh. All right. Is this anything? Not really, alright. Is that it? Does that count as liberation? Every time I hear the word liberation makes me think of an ogre battle. <laughs> and of course everybody's talking about 
uh, Unicorn Overlord at the moment. I do want to play that game, but only after I uh, finish Elden Ring. Okay, I don't think we've gone in here yet, actually. Okay, there are definitely some guys. Hello. Ow. Alright. I think that's it. What have we here? Oh, cookbook. Nice. I want to collect all the cookbooks that I can. That might be it. Alright. Cool. Let's head outside. Alrighty. <laughs> Oh, there's still the uh, pumpkin head. We can fight him. There are also uh, pumpkin heads in Ogre Battle. I wonder if there are any in Unicorn Overlord. No spoilers, please. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Again with the bleed. Ah, I thought I had a back attack there. Whoop. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Alright. Fukuro asks, you cover Dragon Quest of the Stars in the early sales report videos, but you don't cover it anymore. Yeah, um, that was a uh, Square Enix specific video. Would you like to know the uh, results for uh, Dragon Quest Star? I can look that up now. Uh, do you play that? Are you worried that it's going to shut down? <laughs> All right, we might be done with this place. I guess we're gonna go back and uh, talk to that guy again. Uh, he is up here. Uh, Kenneth Height. Right, right, right. right. So I guess we'll, uh, go here. Okay, do east, I think it was. Okay, I think I see him. Hey, hello. I liberated your castle. Ah, I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. Oh, good. And the knight's dead to boot. Yeah. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Oh, boy. Go ahead. It's all yours. We got a uh, dagger. All right, cool. Right then, time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the demi-humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? <laughs> well, under the Erd tree, co-mingling with the demi-humans is made possible. 
Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Yeah, sounds good. Alrighty, mission accomplished. <laughs> Alright, now let's find that prison, or that jail. Uh, I'm going to look at the uh, wiki real quick. All right, here we are. Forlorn Hound Ever Jail. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the map. Oh, I guess it is that... Uh Teleport thing. All right. All right. Fukuro asks. Oh. They say they think the next Square Enix shutdown game will be definitely Dragon Quest of the Star. Interesting. Let's uh, look at those sales now, actually. But uh, why don't you think it's because of the sales? I haven't been following the game super closely. Doraku-e. Yes, Hoshino Dragon Quest, alright. And an ad for Unicorn Overlord comes up. <laughs> Sales aren't bad. They're not bad at all. Whoa. Uh, the game came out in 2018. Holy mackerel. Still making decent money, considering how long it's been out. Ragberry says, glad I could catch you live. Thank you for joining. Happy to have you. Okay, let's go to the teleporter. I hope this is right. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, due south, all right. That, uh, taking the fortress, that, uh, resolved very quickly. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, we got a, uh, statue here. Alright, I have been hesitant to step on this thing all game, but let's do it. Okay, yeah, it does say jail. Hound jail. Oh, okay. Check. Yes, we'll enter the jail. Oh god. So I guess those are like sentries looking at us. Okay, we got a summon. Sure. Right, 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 right. Let's uh, summon you. We talked to him earlier. Oh, let's do uh, poison. All right. Darawil. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. Mm hmm. No. This is where it ends for you. Okay, yeah. All right, let's go. Where is he? This looks like the same as the hill that we just uh, were on. But uh, there's a force field around. Whoa. Okay, poison. Whoa. 
We're getting the uh, critical hit chances, but I'm not getting it. Oh, come on. It kind of reminds me of the, um, like, the dancer from uh, Dark Souls 3. That, that posture and uh, that look. Alright, so we got a new weapon. That wasn't very difficult. <laughs> Uh, Eddie says, Eritrea is our true salvation. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, so this will advance this storyline, I'm guessing. I haven't been really trying hard with the uh, storylines at all this playthrough, but uh, this one's going, at least. What's up? <sighs> right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. Hey, hey, okay. We can upgrade some weapons. Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rhea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, uh -huh. tell him I sent you. All right. Be sure to treat you right. Okay. I owe you one, I reckon. Okay, another blacksmith. That's enough chit chat for now. Oh, time okay. We ways. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> All right. Well, if it's like previous Dark Souls games, it'll be a big guy, a giant, as the smith. Okay, so I accomplished my goals for this live stream. So let's go down here. Let's go to this new area. Uh, let's see. I guess we can go down here. Uh, this live stream will be another two hours I'm aiming for, so... We'll end at 10. Japanese Standard Time. <laughs> that was mean. Yeah, we'll finish them off. Why not? Alright. Alright, let's see if we can go this way. Got some more guards. Mm, let's just blow through. Whoa! Well, let's get rid of this guy at least, I guess. Alright, that'll do. Oh, he's got some treasure. I kind of want that. <laughs> Alright, summon! Ow! Alright, help me, man. I should have changed my weapon before uh, coming in here. Ow, 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 Something with more, um... Dang! Something with more, uh, sweep. Huh. Okay, okay. Dog still around? No, I guess not. All right. Whew. Got through it. <laughs> oh, nice. That will unlock a uh, a dungeon, maybe. And some bolts. All right. All 
I doubt that we'll get through this entire uh, island here tonight, but if we do, we can use that uh, stone key to unlock something. Okay. Weeping Peninsula? I think that's right. Alright, first things first, let's find a save point. No, alright. Uh, I guess let's go off to the side. Oh, perfect. Yeah, in some ways, this game is easier than your average Dark Souls. Maybe as far as a uh, world design or stage design. But I feel like in terms of battle, maybe it's more difficult. Just my early impression, though. Uh, Margit has a lot to do with that. <laughs> Uh, but also with Margit, I think you are expected to do a lot more before you fight him than um, other Dark Souls games. Alrighty. Uh, let's do the... Um, Halberd, I guess? Okay, nobody jump on me. <laughs> Although, those things look like they're going to fall on me any second now. Okay, we got a big guy. We got a uh, caravan. Caravans usually have treasure in them. Let's see if we can uh, sneak over. I've still never actually fought one of those guys yet. I've just run away from all of them. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I put on the uh, Ash of War to do the uh, Stomp. I uh, need to do more experimentation with the uh, Ashes of War. See what they do. Uh, Alright, is he gonna see me? No? Okay. Oh, Morningstar? Alright. Ugh. <laughs> I've always wanted to do, like, a, a true paladin build. Like, uh, lots of faith, miracles, and then only blunt weapons. Like the, uh, the classic D&D. &D. And the uh, Morningstar, that would be a good one for that. Uh, Mr. Roberts says, good morning. Happy Monday morning to all. I am new to the channel. I am here to support the channel. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> this is my first time live streaming anything, so this is all new to me. Uh, but with the uh, DLC coming out soon, I wanted to do something special. So we'll live stream the game. Whoops. What is this guy? Like a harpy, kinda? Half man, half bird, maybe? Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh my god. The controls are my greatest enemy. <laughs> okay, I think we're back in control now. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Uh, 
Alrighty. Oh, by the way, in case anybody was not familiar with my channel, I am doing an Argo cosplay build. Uh, he's a character from a uh, mobile game that I cover on this channel, Near Reincarnation. Uh, the game is shutting down at the end of April, so I highly recommend everybody to start now. <laughs> that might seem uh, counterintuitive, but uh, it's got a great story, great world, great characters. And um, maybe with a month of a semi-focused play, you can see all of the main story, which is the main reason to play the game. So yeah, it's still very worth doing now. I have other videos on my channel covering the game. Alrighty, let's see what's up here. Okay. Random rock. Random rock. Alright, I see a uh, dung beetle. We can take that down, maybe get a skill or something. Ah, missed. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of HP, alright. Hey! Strong shot, maybe. Maybe that'll improve, uh... Projectile damage? I'll look at that later. Will... Okay. I think this is a, a map marker, so let's get that. A, uh, a place where we can get a map. No, there's a jumping area. We can uh, go there later. Oh, save point, all right. This might be a shopkeeper? Yeah, alright. Hello, hello. Buying or selling? Buying. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, it's got some nice stuff. Do I have enough currency? I should. Scale armor. I want to get a big look at it. Oh, here we are. Does that look kind of Argo-ish? Argo's kind of a mix of a Viking and caveman. <laughs> oh, a talisman. Raise max HP, I think. Okay. Uh, some shields. These are small shields that can do parry. I don't really use parry a lot. Ballista bolts. Crossbow, alright. Well, let's get what we can, I guess. We'll get that. And that. And you. And you. Alright. <laughs> you will. Yeah, you too. Alright, let's get that map. Let's see here. There it is. Nothing's gonna jump on me, right? <laughs> okay. Wild scenery. Uh oh. Whoa.
Where did that come from? Yeah, okay. Is that coming from that uh, castle? No, maybe not. Hmm. Maybe it's coming from lower? Whoa! Yeah, it's coming from lower. All right. <laughs> uh huh. Is it that guy? Is that a guy? Yeah, it looks like an archer. All right. Uh, okay, we don't have any uh, runes anyway, so we can just dash and get that. Uh, Map, maybe. <laughs> uh, where was it? There it is. Let's wait for him to fire. Okay, go. Put. Gotcha. Run, run, run. Alright. Alright, let's check the map. Oh, we can't. <laughs> uh, because there is an enemy nearby. Is that good enough? No? Alright, this should be good enough. Still no? Okay, there we go. So, what have we here? Let's see, we got some ruins. That looks very green. That might be a swamp. <laughs> and we got a castle. Probably first order of business is to get rid of the uh, archer there. And what else we got? We got a kind of a village, maybe, top of the hill here. Got a little pond. Larger ruins. We have a minor herd tree, I think it is. Maybe another swamp. More buildings. Okay. Let's save this castle for last. That might be a cave, maybe? Alright, lots to see. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's cut across here. West. Right? Having a map makes such a difference. In all of the uh, Dark Souls and uh, Bloodborne games. No map. <laughs> but yeah, that's part of like what makes this feel like Dungeons and Dragons, is having that map. And I love that it looks so like hand-drawn, you know, like from uh, the Tolkien Lord of the Rings books. Oh, we got a house.
What do we got here? Golden flame. Out. These rats have some crazy eyes. Can we open this? No? Can we get inside? No. Alright. Okay, oh, we're not even at the top yet, okay. Well, let's continue on. I really should be picking up all this stuff. Oh! Especially this thing, because it's new. <laughs> here. Okay, big ravine. Oh, there's the minor ur tree, I think. Okay, cool. These, like, headstones sticking out? <laughs> Very cool look. Alrighty. Oop. That don't look like a merchant. Whoa! Whoa, that is very dangerous in the forest. Alright. <laughs> okay, I got some runes. Okay. Got another bonfire. Itami Mura. That might be a same name or like a similar name to uh, Blight Town from uh, Dark Souls 1. I guess we can kind of circle around it. Yeah, horse combat. Not really used to it yet. <laughs> Alright, let's get off. people? Yeah? They look, uh, distressed, maybe? Now here's a wood shield with a fire marking. Alright. Uh, I think we can leave him alone. <laughs> Alright, this does not look like I can get in there. Oh! I wonder what the meaning is behind these uh, glowing eyes. Ow! Is this anything? No. Okay, we're getting around.
ominous music. Now I can't get in. Well, we'll look in here. Oh, Lictosaurus. Oh, Lictono... Hmm? Lictonidus. <laughs> Says enjoying this time slot for live streams. Perfect to watch at work in the UK. Okay, great. I'm glad it's working out. This, right now, is probably going to be the most common time for me doing live streams. Like, uh, weekday nights after work. But on uh, weekends, those are my first live streams that I was doing. I can do those in the morning, I can do them in the afternoon. But yeah, now is probably going to be the most common time. Okay, we have our standard giant rats that are in every FromSoft game. <laughs> and they're usually uh, diseased with open wounds, yeah. Ow. Oh, this is a uh, church of uh, Marika, I think it was. The last time I found one of these, I got some nice uh, upgrades. So hopefully I can get that again here. Huh, charge attack. Alrighty. Yikes. Charge attack. I think just the weak attack is going to be fine. <laughs> and charge attack. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Lictonidus comments quite a bit on my channel. But I think this is the first time I've ever said that name out loud, which is why I had trouble pronouncing it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what's in here. What do we got? Okay, good. That will raise the amount of healing I think I get per use. And what's this? Ooh. I'm assuming it's a um, pyromancy. Uh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to use that, probably. Something the game doesn't tell you about churches. If there's a site of grace at a church, you can sometimes, but not always, have a chat with Melina. Okay, thank you. I might have been able to do that at the previous one. I was wondering when Melina appears. Like, I guess when she takes you to the, uh, the round table area? That's, uh, random, maybe? Based on uh, what I heard other people say, I got it very early, very quickly. Maybe no save point here. Okay. That is fine. Well, that might be it for this uh, hilltop. I guess we'll go... 
here. Yeah, I guess we'll go here. This is intriguing too, though. <laughs> Alright, we'll head north. Hmm. Oh, no, that's not north. Okay, this is north. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything on here. No, of course not. Oh, there's a bridge, all right. We can take that. Let's not jump. Oh, save point, all right. Uh, so here, let's uh, turn in that uh, that chalice that we picked up. Yeah, raise the amount of healing, good. I was uh, shocked in first playing the game how little the uh, healing the uh, small amount of healing that we got from the uh, the holy jar. <laughs> okay, rest at every grace, just in case, yeah. Sometimes I'll unlock them and not rest at them. But yeah, I should rest at them. Where's that bridge? Uh, here it is, okay. I... I guess we'll jump? I... <laughs> okay, it continues. Ah! Almost fell off there. Okay, okay, we can go this way. Let's do that. Got some uh, flowers down there. I guess that's like a water area. We can walk around. Yeah, pretty wild. Yeah, so the Elden Ring DLC is coming. I guess they said it was going to be uh, bigger than a Limgrave. And I've been playing pretty much just Limgrave these uh, first few days. This uh, green area in the center. I guess if you count this uh, southern peninsula, maybe? So that would be a very large DLC. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, you don't have a ton of HP. froze there. Yikes. Alright. Oh, I think I fought one of those guys down in the, uh, in the cave. Or two of them at once. They didn't have red eyes, though, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, well... 
So if we cross the bridge, we'll go to here. But I wanted to go here. Uh, I guess that would mean going down. Maybe let's go across the bridge after all. What is that? Oh, that's a guy. Uh, that's the uh, Ur Tree Guardian. That's who I uh, farmed to get this outfit. And then uh, that uh, sword spear from earlier. Uh, yeah, we want to go up there, I guess. This leads down? Okay, we don't want to go down yet. All right, we'll just pass you by. Pass you by. Okay. Oh, jellyfish. All right. Aha! This is a statue which will show you where some catacombs are. Let's turn that on. Okay. Right in front of us, I guess. run through these guys. Nope. That was not it. <laughs> Is it here? No. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, how many souls we got? 600. Alright, let's have a quick look at the uh, catacombs. I am a big fan of the uh, the Bloodborne Chalice Dungeons. These catacombs are not as fun. <laughs> uh, but they might have good stuff. They may also have difficult bosses. Well, treasure for a key? I guess, sure. I hope it's good. Okay, run in. Grab it. Oh, cookbook. Good. I'll take it. Alrighty. Uh, let's just have a look around. Okay, boss room. Okay, thing, statue. Ow. Alright, we'll run around the left. Ow! Okay, nothing much in here. What is that? Kinda looks like a guy. Okay, we're just taking all the lefts. <laughs> Ooh, 
Whoa! Whoa! Is that a trap or something? Yes, it is. Come on! Yee! All right, all right. Okay, we can fight this guy. And now I know to uh, attack the uh, the body <laughs> after it falls. Okay, run, 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 run. Whoa! Can I destroy this thing? Oh! Hey! When in doubt, smack it, I guess. Alright, what do we got here? Okay. Some petals. Okay, that's a message. And some flowers. Alright, I guess that's it for here. Ooh. We'll keep running left. Cool music in here. Very uh, catacombsy. Ow! Strangely, I have not found a switch. Usually, there's a, a switch so you can open the uh, the boss room. Ow! Ow! Uh, huh. Oh yeah, I remember that place. <laughs> okay, let's head out for one second. Let's gather our bearings. Uh, let's check the uh, what we can craft. See if there's anything new in here. That might be new. What does this do? It's a pot with some kind of status effect. Curse, maybe? Oh, Anon. YM says, hello, how you doing? I'm very good. I think I need a drink of water. Here's some ASMR for you. What I really want to craft are the uh, the poison. Um, looks like a bar of soap. <laughs> Ah, beast. Beast uh, jar, I guess. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna consult the wiki real quick. I wanna know where is the switch to the boss room. Let's see here. Impaler's Catacombs? Is that where we are? Uh, no, I don't think so. Tombs Ward Catacombs, maybe. Tombs Ward Catacombs. Yeah, I think this is where we are.
Okay, fire breathing statue at the end of the next tunnel. Hit it to have it descend. To complete the catacombs, jump on the fire breathing statue. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so let's go back in. And we will jump on. Oops. Moment we'll go this way. Boss room. Don't mind me. Ho! Okay. Oh, ah, I should have picked that up. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, there it is. And jump on. Alright, 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 cool, cool, cool. Oh! Oh! Turns the fire back on. <laughs> alright, what do we got? Guess we'll go in here. Looking for a switch. Oh. Could this be a switch? Yes, 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 yes. All right, cool. Okay. We'll head back. I'm going to assume that's for the boss door. Oh, did I pass it? <laughs> Oops. Should have done the uh, critical hit. Alright. Well, I guess let's try the boss. We'll go back to uh, poison. And then summons... Skeletons might be funny. <laughs> okay, there it is. Alright, let's head in. Oh boy. What do we got? What? Yikes. Sorry to compare everything to everything else, but... <laughs> ah, whoa, 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 whoa! He looks like a uh, Bloodborne enemy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's fast. Heal, heal, heal! Ah! Couldn't get my uh, healing up. Skeletons are working pretty well, though. Maybe we'll stick with that. Uh, Anon asks if I'm going for a quality build. I wasn't intending on it, but <laughs> just kind of happened that way. I kept getting like spears and halberds that uh, wanted strength and dexterity, so yeah, we're going for that. Alrighty. I wasn't paying attention. We'll see if the, uh, the poison works. Argo does not use holy pots. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, what is that? Uh, poison, is it working? Uh, maybe not. Alright, let's back off until the uh, poison wears off, or the uh, bleed wears off a little bit. Okay, my skeleton's coming back. It's good. Ooh. Yeah, this guy seems to be immune to poison. Oh well. Out. Yikes. Hey, okay. <laughs> hey, a new summon. Lutal. Headless, headless knight, Lutal? Okay. Alright, let's get my souls, or runes. Okay, that was successful. Yeah, but catacombs, they're over so quickly. As compared to, say, uh, chalice dungeons. Oh well. Alrighty. Oh, jellyfish gone. Alright, let's look at that uh, summon. Ugh, costs 104 FP, so I'm not going to be able to use it. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, all these other ones here are cheaper, so yeah. Oh no. Oh no, this one costs HP, that's right. Okay. Where were we? Yes, we're going to go up the hill. And look at the tree. What is that? Yeah. Looks like it's breathing. <laughs> uh, Lictonatus says... Chalice dungeons aren't randomly generated. Right. There's a uh, set one for every uh, like uh, type and then um, difficulty level. But you can also make random ones. Uh, I played Bloodborne until I beat all of the uh, set ones, and I called it a day. I didn't really play the uh, the random ones. Yeah, I guess the catacombs are good as like a bite-sized bit of content. <laughs> Alright, that looks like a boss. Let's see what else is here. Uh, we got some statues, yeah. We can go around the outside. Can we see the boss from here? Uh, no. All right.
Whoa, what is that? Oh, he's from a uh, loading screen. <laughs> like a walking building. That's crazy. That is around here, I guess. We've got some guys setting fire, I guess. Burninating the countryside. Uh, what else we got? Okay, I guess I'm looking at this building? No, no, no. Yeah, this one here. Don't know what that is, alright. Oh, I have no uh, FP. I should have uh, used the uh, save point. I hear singing. Huh. Yeah, I hear singing. Oh, interesting. The random chalice dungeons aren't actually random. There's just a big pool that it picks from. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I guess actually you could play all of them. If you played long enough. <laughs> Alrighty. What is that singing? Oh, I see a dung beetle. Huh. Teach me a skill. Oh, come on, don't disappear. Oh, come on! Ugh. I suck. I think the singing's coming from here? Ish? Alright. Jump and attack. Jump and attack. <laughs> Alright. Is there a way down here? That's another bat. Jump! Alright, that wasn't that bad. Ouch. Alright. What is going on there? Kinda looks creepy. Let's have a look.
Maybe it's a siren? Okay, okay, hello? Are you an NPC? Are we gonna talk? Oh my god. Ooh! Creepy, creepy, creepy. I wish one of you would come closer. <laughs> That works. Come on down. All right. Let's see what this person is about. Are you going to attack me? No? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll see what this is. Meat. Lovely. Alright, well, I guess I'll leave you to your singing. Good day, miss. <laughs> That's bizarre. Yeah, I wonder if she'll start singing again. Uh, ooh, 3,000 souls. I was thinking about going to fight the boss, but not with this much. <laughs> well, I think I'm satisfied with uh, this little outcropping area. Unless there's more. Let's see if we can get a better look at the uh, the boss here. Is that it? S uh, where is it? There's a lot of pots in the way. Is that it? No. Oh, I think I see it there. What is that? Okay, we'll come back to that later. <laughs> Alright, where are we going next? Uh, oh, let's go here, I guess. Due north. Uh, I guess it's that. It might be a church. That would be cool. Yeah, it looks like a church. And yeah, we got some guys walking. We'll ignore them for now.
Oh, we got a guy. These guys don't say anything, so I have to translate the Japanese. <laughs> Which is iffy. Demigod. The uh, Eternal Queen Marika. Ow! Oh! Say it again. <laughs> The, uh, the, the spiritless demigod? Eh, whatever. Let's head in. Oh! But that's a different statue from before. Okay, so we got the save point. Let's see what else they got. Hey! Another chalice. Alright. Alright, let's rest. Maybe we can talk to uh, Melina. Oh, yes we can. Alright, we'll raise the amount of healing again. See what she says. <laughs> Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Oh yeah. Shall I share them with you? Please. In Marika's own words, then after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war and brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. Lord Godfrey, alright. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Oh. Let my hand rest upon you. I haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> Share them with me. I need 3,000 more about. See ya. Uh, let's see if we can get those 3,000 runes. Oh, maybe. We got a lot. Uh, let's start with this, I guess. Oh, good. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. I could put it into uh, Dexterity. Get a step closer to using the uh, Cross Naginata. Or I could put it into uh, Arcane for more poison damage. Uh, let's put it into Dexterity. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Well, let's have a look around this area. If there's nothing really to see, then we can go fight that boss. Because now I have no runes. Oh, graveyard. Uh, golden iron shield? <laughs> oh, that's a guy. I really should get a uh, holy weapon to use against the undead. Aha! That's a blood bar of soap. I want to be able to craft the uh, poison version of that. <clears throat> then I could just infuse, you know, the uh, the poison anytime I like. Alright, I'm not seeing any more items, I don't think. Okay. Well, I'm satisfied. Alright, let's go fight that boss.
Hello. Well, should we fight him on horseback or on foot? Let's try on foot. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? Okay, all right. Kind of looks like a tree. It's got a big uh, blunt weapon, all right. Okay, got some strikes, okay, whoa. Got a stomp, all right. All right, let's see if poison works on him. Uh, yes it does, okay. We're in business. <laughs> Out. Okay, poison. Apply poison, maybe? No. It's out. Whoa! No, poison's out. Poison! Alright. Whoa! Ow, 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 ow! What the? What the? <laughs> Ow! I don't want to fall off the cliff. Ouch! Alright, poison's still going. Poison's worn off. Uh-oh! Oh no, not this again. Yee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on. I dodged that. All right, poison, do your thing. I'm ready for you. All right. Okay. Okay, okay. It's probably about time to reapply the poison. Oh, let's drink this. Oh, I'm out of healing. All right. Ow! I totally dodged that. Poison. Oops, 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 wrong button. Alright, a little bit of healing. Whoa! Alright, poison, do your thing. Oh, no, no, no! Woo! Okay, I thought I was dead. Oh! Hey, hey! Thank you, poison. Alright. <laughs> Poison Argo strikes again. What is this? A uh, pure colored drop of some kind? Some kind of key item? All right. 
And what's this? A crystal drop something. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, let's see if he's hiding anything. Get some sunflowers. Maybe not. All right. Uh, let's have a look at those uh, items. Let's see here. Uh, we'll heal half your HP. So that's a uh, consumable, I guess. And this will cast regen on you. Uh, this will raise your strength. This will cut damage to you in half. Okay, interesting. I'll look those up later. All right. Well, what's that? Oh, the catacombs, right? Let's call it a live stream here. Still got a lot to see of this island, or a peninsula, but yeah. Yeah, we'll end it here. All right, I think we'll be back tomorrow around the uh, same time. Hopefully you can join. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.